This is one of the hardest jumps ever landed on Roblox. While it might not look like much, something even a complete beginner could do, it holds a massive secret that makes it almost humanly impossible. Just to give you an example of how difficult this simple looking jump really is, in the top jumps community, which will be linked in the description, the difficulty system works on a scale from 0, 0.0 to 11.0 plus, ranging from completely unfailable to downright impossible. In the community, the absolute human limit has been considered a difficulty of 9.0, a jump that demands perfect precision, and even then is unlikely to be beaten. And this particular jump ranks in at a difficulty of 8.8, .8, placing it among the top 3 hardest jumps ever verified. In this video, we'll break down the secret behind this jump, its origins, and how it was finally conquered. Before we start this video, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel. Most of the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed, and your support would mean a lot to me. And without further ado, let's dive in. To fully grasp the magnitude of this jump, we first need to go back a bit and talk about Room of Rose. Room of Rose is a tech tier 14 obby designed by Obby Boy in 2020. When Room of Rose came out, it wasn't just any ordinary obby. It shattered expectations, introducing jumps that obbyists had never seen before. The reactions were mixed. Some people loved the obby, while others hated it. But there was no denying that Room of Rose made its mark. The obby was full of complex jumps, but one particular jump stood out to the top jumps community. However, even this difficult jump from Room of Rose wasn't the hardest version. This was only an easy version of what would come later. The community wasn't satisfied with the challenge, so they buffed the jump, creating something much more brutal. Wrath of the Shingle. Wrath of the Shingle is a whole other beast. While the original jump in Room of Rose was tough, Wrath of the Shingle took everything to another level. It was significantly buffed, pushing the limits of precision and timing to the extreme. The precision needed to land it is nearly impossible for the average obvious to achieve. What made it so tough was the combination of a perfect wraparound maneuver and a quick toggling of shift lock done at just the right moment to stick the landing. It sounds simple, but the timing and skill required were astronomical. The first person to verify Wrath of the Shingle was none other than Boom Sasak an obbyist who had already cemented his reputation by verifying insanely difficult obbies like Bagdar Benjamin and Emi Nubu. Boom Sasak's verification placed Wrath of the Shingle on the map as one of the toughest jumps in Roblox history. However, even this monumental jump didn't stay at the top forever. Over time, as more and more players pushed the boundaries of top jumps, Wrath of the Shingle eventually dropped to the 11th hardest jump ever verified. It was still an incredibly tough feat, but the community was growing, and with that growth came even tougher challenges. And this is where Times comes into the picture. Times is an obbyist who got into the community in 2020. He started out in Jato, the tower-based obby game, where he quickly climbed the ranks, tackling and beating some soul-crushing difficulty towers. These towers were incredibly difficult, and beating them helped Times sharpen his skills to a point where he could take on even more daunting challenges. Eventually, his attention shifted to tiered obbies, and that's when things really took off for him. After verifying obbies like Gloomy Mountains, Times found himself in the top jumps community. His first major milestone was landing the final jump in Misplaced in Time, another notoriously difficult obby. This accomplishment set him apart from most players and marked the beginning of his journey toward mastering Roblox's hardest jumps. But success didn't come easily. Times' initial progress was slow, especially as he began trying harder jumps. He built jumps of his own, experimenting with different mechanics, but he wasn't aiming for greatness just yet. He was just having fun. As time went on, however, he started to shift his focus, realizing that he had the potential to take on some of the hardest jumps out there. One of those jumps, of course, was Wrath of the Shingle. 
Himes had tried to conquer the jump before, but his initial completion wasn't legitimate. Instead of following the standard methods, he used a technique called uplodging, which involves jumping between two walls in such a way that they push you upward. While this allowed him to beat the jump, the community later ruled that uplodging wasn't a valid strategy for jumps like these, so Times had to go back and do it the right way. And he did just that. Upon beating Rust the Shingle the legitimate way, Times realized he had a talent for this specific jump. He could do what most players couldn't, and that realization set him on a path towards something even more ambitious. Wrath of the Shingle, despite its brutal difficulty, had become incredibly consistent for times. That's when he came up with an idea that would push the boundaries of obbying even further. From the outside, Wrath of a Thousand Times looked deceptively simple, but this was no ordinary jump. Times wanted to create something that would test not only his obbying skills, but also his mental resilience. His solution? Make the entire jump invisible. Think about that for a second. Wrath of the Shingle was already a nightmare for most players, but at least you could see what you were doing. You could gauge your movement, align yourself, and rely on visual cues to make the jump. But Wrath of a Thousand Times stripped all that away. Every single visual reference point that players had come to rely on was gone. The challenge now was to execute a jump of insane precision and timing without being able to see it. This wasn't just a harder version of Wrath of the Shingle, this was a completely new type of challenge, one that hadn't been seen in the community before. Times knew that if he could beat this, it would set him apart as one of the greatest top jumpers in Roblox history. The grind began. Every attempt was a shot in the dark. Times had to rely on pure muscle memory, with no idea if he was getting closer or further from success. And finally, on September 22nd, 2024, everything came together. After hours of grinding, this happened. The jump took times a total of over 4 hours to complete, repeatedly jumping and failing the same jump. And there were moments where the difficulty seemed overwhelming, even for him. But giving up wasn't an option, and in the end, he managed to do it. He verified wrath of a thousand times if you enjoyed this video as well as go and support times on further grinds and with that being said see you in the next video